In this lecture, we are going to see the single cycle data path design for store instruction. So, in the previous previous lecture, we have seen how to design a single cycle data path for load instruction. So, load instruction means you are loading content of data memory to a register. That is, that is you are reading from memory to register that is known as load. In store, you are storing from a register to a memory right so if you are moving from register to memory it is store if you are loading from memory to register it is load so here you are going to see the store operation that means you are going to read the uh, or you are going to store the contents of a register to the memory right so this is so the architectural uh, data path uh, the data path design for store instruction is almost similar to ldr instruction right only one difference is that in the case of load you are loading from memory to a register that means in load you are loading the content of data memory you are loading the content of data memory to a register through this line so by using this you are reading from data memory the red data you are writing to a register configured by these four bits but in store what you are doing you are doing the just opposite version right that means whatever content of the register is there that register content that is known as a source register that registers content will be written to the data memory right so how will you configure the other things remains the same right so the taking the uh, base address and uh, adding it with the offset all those things remains the same so those procedures are used for configuring the address of data memory so for generating the address from where you need to read the data from data memory is generated by adding the offset address and the sign extended immediate value that is how you are getting the address that remains the same but the only difference is that now you have config you have selected a particular location in data memory right to that data memory you need to write an address value the content of a register known as source register so that source register is specified by in the instruction decoding you can see the source register for str instruction is configured by this bit bit number 12 to 4 so if you are using load this rd register is used as destination register if you are using store rd register is used as source register right because in str you are going to read the content of a register known as source register configured by these four bits that content you are going to write in the memory location which is calculated by using offset and base address so in str bit number 12 to 15 is known as the source register right and uh, the, it, it is uh, containing the data value that data you are going to write in the memory but in ldr the same bits are known as destination register so bit number 12 to 15 is used for configuring the source register in str right so how will you configure that bit number 12 to 15 you are connecting to you are going to read the content of that so in the previous ldr instruction you are connecting bit number 12 to 15 to anyway anywhere you have connected you are not connecting this so here you are connecting bit number 12 to 15 to a2 right <coughs> because to a2 you are connecting uh, the uh, in the case of str you are connecting bit number 12 to 15 to a2 in the case of ldr 12 to 15 was connected to a3 right in ldr a3 was used for configuring the destination register for write operation right so in ldr you need to perform the write op write to a register file so for configuring the register for write operation 12 to 15 you are connecting connecting to a3 in ldr but in str you are connecting 12 to 15 to a2 port of the same register a2 is used for reading right so why you want to read this 
in the store operation you need to read the content of a register known as source address register you need to read so for read operation and the source register is configured by using this four bits so that four bits you need to connect to a read port first read port is connected to 16 to 19 it is used for reading base address so one more port is remaining here so you are connecting bit number 12 to 15 to a2 port of register file okay so what will happen you can configure the register say if you are reading from r2 register you are configuring it here using this four bit and the content of that register will be sent out through this right so whatever register you are configuring as source register here content of that register will be sent out through this right that means whatever register you want to read that content will be available here then what you should do i need to read the content of that register that content should be written on to the data memory in the previous ldr what you are doing you are giving the resultant address here and you are reading from the data memory right you are reading from data memory you are writing into a register but here in store you are reading from a register file you are reading from a register that you need to write into the data memory so for writing this register data should be connected to wd of data memory so data you should give here right and the address you want to write is generated here so the a is used for generating the address for write as well as read here you are going to perform the write so the address is generated here and you are connecting it to a port right then the data you are giving it here so for writing the data to this address specified by this a port you need to give the write enable so write enable is controlled by a control signal known as memory write so memory write you are making it as one that means you are writing uh, you are making write enable as one right you are making write enable as one data you have given into read uh, write port then one more step is there you need to give a clock so in the rising edge of the clock whatever data you are giving here will be written to this right so whatever data you are uh, giving here in right in read uh, in the right port will be written to this so from this rd2 you are getting the content of the register that data you are giving to wd and by giving memory write as one and in the next rising edge of the clock whatever data you have given here will be written here so for store operation you are reading from a register file configured as source address register file that content you will be writing to the data memory specified by this address by giving the memory write and clock right so that is how store operation is done so you need to note one more thing whatever operation is done in the load will be done here also in the case of store additional operation will be done uh, uh, this one uh, additional operation will be right so note that the data is still read from the given address in the data memory but it is no it is not written to the register file why because you are giving register write as zero right here you are giving a register write enable signal that you are making it as zero so whatever data you are read from the memory won't be written so in load what you are doing you are reading from a data memory you are writing into a register right in the store operation also that process will be done but the red data will not be written into a register why because register write will be zero right so you need to note that whatever operation is done in ldr will be done here except the writing process because the data will be read here and rd because you are giving the uh, address here so data will be uh, read here that data will not be written into the register why because register write will be zero in the case of ldr you can see register write was one why because you need to read the data from data memory that you need to write into the register file here that is why register write will be one but in store register write will be zero 
so whatever data is coming out through this rd port will not be written to w3 that you need to keep in mind so whatever operation is done in ldr will be done here except the writing process because uh, register write is zero so in addition to that the main operation of uh, store is you need to read content of register file which is configured by using a2 that read content should be written to data memory that is why you are connecting rd2 to wd and for writing operation you need to make memory write as one write enable as one and in the next tick, rising edge of the clock it will be written so uh, the main thing you need to keep in mind is that in store instruction bits from 12 to 15 will be representing the source address from which you need to read the data that has to be written to written to a data memory but in ldr the same instruction bits 12 to 15 will be representing the uh, destination register right in ldr same instruction 12 to 15 will be representing the destination register to which you need to load the data from the data memory right so instruction bit number 12 to 15 will be representing the destination register to which you need to write the data which is read from the data memory right but in store the same four bits are represented as to source register so from the source register you need to read the data in load you are writing the data to a register here you are reading the data and you are writing to the data memory read the data from register write it to a data memory that is store operation